And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood, and I hope you enjoyed our conversation with Dustin Tommy from City Fields. And I'm, I'm going to get Dustin back on because we didn't have time to go into a lot of the details, and he has some wonderful graphics. So be sure you go to cityfieldscdc.com and check them out. Check out what's happening over on that end of Cleveland because it's really exciting, folks. But now here's another event that's coming up, or this is an event. Dustin's wasn't an event, but this event is coming up real soon, and I wanted to get someone on, and so I have the event chairperson on, and she is Amanda Nelson Troyer, mm -hmm. and she's going to talk to us about the Rotary Gala that's coming up. Yes. And I know y'all are going to say, I don't want to listen to the Rotary Gala. I'm not a member of the Rotary. That's what we want to tell you. You don't have to be a member of the, of the Rotary to come to the Gala. So, Amanda, tell us all about it. Okay, so uh, Rotary Club of Cleveland, we meet Tuesdays um, at lunchtime at the museum. Um, we have an annual gala fundraiser, and we are putting that on next Friday night at 6 o'clock at the museum, and it's a formal event, black tie optional. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have a big live band, so there's dancing. We have a live auction. Um, we do like a bucket raffle. Um, we have fantastic food, and it's just a mingle, get out, have fun, and it's really exciting, and it's to raise money. Yes, that's what I want them to understand, why you're having this. Yes, the gala is our annual fundraiser, and what we do is Rotary is a nonprofit organization, <clears throat> and through our foundation, we raise funds and donate these funds to other organizations, other nonprofits within the community. We, can, we do use some funds for benevolent projects of our own that we do within the community, but we also give the money towards scholarships for our high school students. Mm -hmm. um, we give out funds to other groups, um, such as the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland. We do, um, we've done some grants for the Cleveland City Schools. Um, we've also, uh, we do a dictionary project every year. Yes, that's exciting. Yes, very exciting. As a former school teacher and a member of the Bradley County Board of Education, I love the dictionary project. Yes, we're very excited. We're going to be doing that very soon. Um, what it is, is we use part of the funds that we raise at our gala, and we buy dictionaries for the third grade students across the city and county. Yes. We go meet with the students. We give them all their very own dictionary. We talk about how to use it, what's in it. And, um, and it's just, um, you know, an opportunity for us to give to these students. Right. Right. I'm very excited about it this year. My own son is in the third grade oh, this year. Oh, how exciting. So I'm very excited. He goes to Waterville. He, his teacher is Mr. Gunderson. And I'm really excited to be a part of it this year so that I can go and I'm going to surprise him. He has no idea that I will be there. Okay. <laughs> now, what time of year do you all do that? Um, normally it has been like late in the fall, but this year we're doing it a little bit later. It just kind of lines up better with the timing of the school system. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Because yeah. we do have to work around testing and everything yeah. else. So, yeah. absolutely. So, I love the fact you said bucket auction. I know what that is. But tell our audience so that they don't think you're auctioning off buckets. Okay. okay. No buckets. But there will be no buckets given away or right. won. But there will be at buckets. The gala. There will be buckets. What it is, when you come into the gala, and I hope that you all can come, it's a really fun night. What it is is you buy tickets and you get uh, a a packet of tickets for 50 or three for 100. So go for the 100. Right. And you tear off those tickets and you put them in different buckets. And there's like 30 buckets. And they all have different things. Like you can win like $200 at the spa or you can win like free gutter cleanings and, you know, different things. There's stuff for men, there's stuff for women, there's stuff for your home. And it's been donated by fellow Rotarians, and other members of the community that are not just in Rotary, they want to support what Rotary right. does. Right. So we raise a lot of money by selling these tickets that you can just place into the buckets. That's mm -hmm. why it's the bucket raffle. That's right. But I want yeah. everybody to understand, <laughs> they are not raffling off buckets. No, okay. No. So it's a lot of fun. There will be a couple of big ticket items this year that you'll have special tickets for. and You have to buy at least $100 to be able to get the special golden tickets to Ooh, put in there. Okay. And it's going to include um, like gutter service and I, I believe some different things to do for your home. And it's worth several hundred dollars. And um, so we're really excited about that. And um, it's going to be a bigger ticket item that's not going to be a live auction item, but it will be one of the major, major raffles. Okay. And then you do have live auction items. And you yes. all always have fantastic yes. live. Because I know that that several 
uh, gals have gone together at the auction and bought different things, different parties, right. different things, right. and so that's yes. fun. That is one thing that has become synonymous with the gala. <laughs> it's not so much a, you know, here's an item and it's for sale. We, we sell or we auction off a lot of experiences, and yes. a lot of times today, that's what people want. And so we do have some beautiful estate jewelry that's going to be there that I'm personally Ooh. excited about. Um, uh, I'm very excited about that. But some of the experiences that we're going to have, um, my mother, Pam Nelson, mm -hmm. she does a large, like, Creole uh, crab leg dinner, and it's a whole experience. And it's a lot of fun. We do it poolside. I usually go help, and we serve, and it's, you can bring a party of eight. Wow. And everything is provided. And it's, you don't have to do anything but You don't have to do anything but pick your friends right. and show up and we'll schedule the night. Wow. It's a lot of fun. We do it. It's actually at my mother's home. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's crab legs. And if you don't know how to do it, don't worry. We'll teach you how to do it. Good. We'll teach you how to do okay. it. Okay. So that's a lot of fun. There's also... Um, like Paul McCord does an Italian dinner at his yes. home with his wife, he's and that neighbor. is wonderful. He's my neighbor yes. over on the river, so yes. So he has done that for years. That's a lot of fun. It always um, it always does well at our live auction. We're very thankful for that. Um, let's see. There's going to be, um, let's see, Mike Griffin is doing like a um, kind of a, I don't know how to describe this exactly. I haven't seen the written description, but basically several houses in the historical district downtown mm -hmm. are going to have food and drinks, and you're going to get from house to house. Oh, okay, like good. Like a... Um, uh, yep, there's it, a name for that. Uh, yeah. Not productive. There's a word for it. Uh, anyway... Um, Anyway, so you're going to be able to go to different progressive, homes. A progressive, progressive. That's dinner. exactly what it is. Yes, a progressive okay. dinner. Yes. And it's going to be catered. There's going to be drinks. Wow. It's going to be fun. I, and it's a bunch of people. I want to say like maybe 15, 16 oh, people. Oh wow! So it's a large thing. Um, so a lot of times people will go in and buy that together. That's going to be a lot of fun right. this year. So I'm very right. excited about that. There's going to be um, like a turkey hunt for you, and you know if you want to take your son or your daughter, or your dad or your brother or husband, whoever. Um, that you're going to be able to do like a turkey hunt. There's going to be like a fly fishing event. Um, just lots of different experiences. Uh, Tim Petit is, is donating a weekend on the river. Oh, wow. And so just different things like that for the gala. And the thing is, is you know, the thing you have to remember about the gala is it is strictly a fundraiser. Right. It is a fundraiser for us to donate and do for this community. Absolutely. You know, to be in Rotary, you have to have a heart for service. Mm -hmm. And you've got to be willing to get out there and do for your community. Community. Absolutely. And I think, you know, I absolutely love being in Rotary. My mother brought me in a couple of years ago, and I have just taken to it. I love it. I love what we do. I love getting to know what's going on in the community. And this is all going to go back into our community, absolutely. like I said, in the form of um, uh, scholarships for our kids here. And it's going to go towards, um, you know, some of our own benevolent projects. And it's also going to go to other nonprofits, large and small, in the community. So we're really excited about the fundraiser. You don't have to be in Rotary to be there. Right. That's what I want everybody to understand. You don't. It's, but the tickets are how much are the, the tickets? The tickets are $135. Okay. And that includes um, your dinner, dancing, drinks, everything. It includes everything. Except what you want to bid Except on and buy. Except for what you mm -hmm. want to bid on mm -hmm. and buy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, next Friday, February the 15th at 6 o'clock. Ooh, the day after Valentine's. Ooh, Ooh and we it, could plan the a theme, late day Valentine's. The theme is the heart of Rotary. Oh, how neat. So it's going to be set up with beautiful reds and roses, and it's going to be very, very nice. We're really excited about it, and I hope that everybody can come. If you have any questions, you can reach me. I'm the director at Okoe Insurance Services, and our number there is 423 423- Four seven six five two zero four, or you can email me at amanda at okoeinsurance com. Okay, that's yeah. great. And Amanda will be the one that will sell you tickets or whatever. And I know in the past you have actually even sold tables. Are you doing that yes, this year? Yes, we okay. do. A gold sponsor table is fifteen hundred, okay. and you get ten seats. Okay. Silver is a thousand, and you get six seats. Okay. Bronze is seven fifty, I believe, and you get four seats. Okay. 
you get four seats. Right. Or you can buy individual <clears throat> tickets. And then as as that you are listed also as a sponsor, as a Absolutely. You're in the if you with buy those. a table, you're listed in the program on the projection. We're talking about it. Um, you know, on our radio spots, on your show. Um, you know, we're we're promoting all of that. We're just really excited about this gala. We want every year to be better and better and better. And it's a wonderful event. I have been before. I have had friends who have bought tables before and said, we need warm bodies. And I said, I'm that. And so I've gone. And like I said, I've bought things before with, you know, the girls have gone together and, and bought different things. And, and it's just great. I, I just think it's a wonderful event. Thank Plus, you. I know what you all do in the community. Thank you. And I, I'm so supportive of, um, I know you are one of the supporters of Junior Achievement, and uh, and so, and, and I'm on that board, so I'm appreciative of that. And I, I just know that all of the things that you all support, the nonprofits uh, that you all support in this community, and it's vitally important for them to have organizations like you that will Thank support you. that. I appreciate now, that. Now, I have to share this with you. I was in London for their New Year's Day parade, and Rotary International had a float and a whole lot of people running around in the parade in purple, I believe it was, supporting you all are working on, with polio. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes. And we here in the United States think, oh, Polio's we gone. That's gone. It's gone. But well, the truth is polio is not gone. Right. Polio is not gone. There are countries that still have cases of polio, and you're not declared clear of polio until you've had zero cases for several years. Mm. So polio is still is still happening. And although we don't have cases here, right. it is happening across the world. And that is the first thing that Rotary really grabbed on grabbed on to was, what do we want to get rid of? What do we want to sponsor? Yes. And so Rotary International started with eradicating polio. And they worked with the Bill Gates Foundation. And he gave us massive grants. And he matched what we did. So all the clubs across the world donate every month to Rotary International to wow. eradicate polio. And at this point, there's only a very, very few countries that still have polio. And we are still fighting in those countries. We are still delivering the necessary medications for these people to help them get rid of polio. But it wow. does still happen. It's a crippling disease. Yes, it is. And, you know, although you know, I'm fortunate enough that it was never a part of my life, but that's because the United States started that long right. ago to get right. rid of it. Right. You know, that I, it wasn't something that was a part of my life, but my parents, it was. Yes, and it was so, a part of my life. I mean, absolutely. I didn't have it, but. Absolutely. But, yeah. So that is our thing. That yes. is what we're doing. And I was so amazed because there I'm sitting in London. I mean, it wasn't the Cleveland Rotary Club, but it was. Yeah. Rotary International. And they're wearing they're wearing purple because they haven't they have a thing they call the purple pinky. Have you ever heard of the purple pinky? No. So what it is is when you get the polio vaccine, they put like a purple ink or stamp or something on your hand to show you've been you've had the medication. Wow. So okay. they call it the purple pinky. <laughs> and we even did a fundraiser where the man who owns a lot of the Dunkin' Donuts here in our town said, if you will buy these um, like eclairs with purple icing on top, I will donate X amount of dollars for every one that you buy, which is well over the cost. Wow. We raised, I, I want to say, $100,000. It could have even been more. Wow. But we raised a ton of money by buying the donuts and, you know, having that <laughs> that man who is a Rotarian say, step up and say, you buy this, I'm donating this. Fantastic. It's wonderful. Fantastic. Wonderful. Amanda, this has been great having you out today. And uh, I tell everybody again how to get a hold of you because I would like to see everybody at the gala. Great. Yes, the great. it's going to be amazing. It I is think it will so be much fun. fun. The music yes. is great. The atmosphere is wonderful. People are going to be have a lot of fun. And the food is usually delicious. The food too. will be to die for. Okay, good. Um, okay, so this year, the gala is again Friday, February the 15th at 6 o'clock at the museum. Tickets are 135 individually, or you can buy a table sponsorship. You can reach me at Ocoee Insurance Services at 423 476 
5204 or you can email me at amanda at ocoeinsurance.com. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much You're for welcome. being on with thank me today. Thank you for having me. I want you all to just pack that place as thank full you. as the fire marshal will let you have it. Thank so, you. Thank you, Amanda. Folks, don't go away. Remember now, we have commercials coming up and I want you to support our sponsors because they pay our bills. And I'll be back with some other upcoming events that are going to happen in Cleveland, Bradley County and even in the surrounding areas. So don't go away. I'll be right back.